Welcome to week 6 of Age of Empires Top 5 Plays. I missed last week's content after my monitor's power supply failed and I didn't have the resources to repair it. I decided to get a 144Hz monitor as a replacement and can now see absolutely no improvement. So let's kick off this week at numero 5 with our first French player, the Sniper, in the yellow playing against Luca. Luca is up to the Imperial Age first and has the big ball of Arbalest ready to steamroll right into Sniper's base. What a clean up from the Sniper. C'est magnifique. At number 4 we have some déjà vu, with the player going archers reaching the next stage faster. Hare in the red already has the kill death lead, so let's see if he can fare any better than his fellow Canadian. And Hera has patrolled right into the TC, oh god, please tell me he's gonna realize he does. He sees the Maganel and he's tempted to micro it, but Emil got the attack ground in! Oh, and he got another shot as well, and the repairs now. Oh, and another shot, and now at the same time, MBL could loop in on the right. Harris should have known better than to mess with MBL's Manganel Mayhem. I take back what I said last episode about Hera having the best Archer Micro. At number 3, we have a player that I don't showcase nearly as often as I should. Viper is in the red and has reached what he calls the best Castle Age composition. Uh, his monks now, so I want to catch his crossbows while he's microing his monks. That's what I want to do. Oh, we actually got really good trades there. After seeing what he can do with that composition, I'm bound to agree. There's only one unit that I think could stand a chance. Indian Camels. At number 2, Vivi is in the blue and on the back foot, getting his gold pressured by towers and with minimal resources after clicking up to the castle age. So there we go. Camels going forward. Another villager going down for Vivi. Oh man, his Iku was kind of weak and now... Uh, he's not going to be able to finish that tower. And these scouts... Uh, these camels should be enough to clean, to clean this up, right? They have extra pierce armor. And yeah, that tower should be going down, so now MBL is definitely losing the edge. But he's got a lot of villagers over here, and we have five camels chasing the villagers away. MBL could potentially lose six villagers over there. Seven, actually. He already lost one. He already lost three. The game sense to know that he could take that fight and pick off all those villagers is incredible. Our honorable mention this week is a live reenactment of the demo shot I often dream of. You have to exit before that. What? You have to exit before spamming. No, I bam if I want to bam. Simple as that. I want to be the entertaining streamer and show what's happening on other sites as well. DMs. There you go, Nilly. Viper might not have X'd first, but I made sure to clip it for you. And at number one, we have a player you may have never expected to have seen on my channel. Getting his first highlight on my channel and coming in at the number one spot, it's Doubt with his favorite unit to micro. Did this demo one shot transfer ship? I don't think so. No, no, but they have spies as well. I block it, I block it, I block it. Where did he go? I block it, I block it, I block it, I block it. Fuck you all! Down the micro! What? Yo, we, we, Who we, is we, this player? Yeah, what was repair, that? Repair. Oh, I'm a sick player, man. <laughs> the fishing ship is my unit, man. Not Archer, not Mangonel. <laughs> the fishing <laughs> ship is my unit. <laughs> I play <laughs> only with fishing ships from now on. MBL has his boar lures. Viper has his quick gates, and Doubt has his fishing ships. Doubt can actually pull off decent lanes as well, which you can watch in this week's Top 5 Fails video. As always, send in your clips, and check out the original clips in the description. Take care.